time based partitioning in bigquery that is the topic of this video hello everybody i am narash jasotani and i am a specialist customer engineer working at google in ai and ml space i'm going to be a presenter for this course i have published adapting tensorflow for real world ai which is available on google play store as well as amazon kindle so time based partitioning in bigquery we will use a clause known as partition by so before that let's look at this query so what you can do is select this query which we have written in the previous video and just click on run selected now if you look at it even though you have dates after march the query is going to process 5 gigabytes of data which is the entire length of this table liquor iowa sales now that is going to eat up your bigquery resources you need to be efficient on your bigquery queries and therefore you would need time based partitions in order to do that you would write create or replace table a new table name so remember project dot dataset dot table name in your data warehouse data warehousing and databases you have database name dot schema dot table name you would use partition by date so it's going to partition by date and therefore if you write a query against a partition table you would just focus on that data set which is driven by date let me write this query and see how much data is going to be processing so i'm going to run this i'm going to remove this obviously the filter i want to keep all the data or just i can have the filter in order to minimize the data for now so let me just process this i click on run it's going to create a new data with partition by date so bigquery as you know it's a managed service it's going to take care of entire partitioning for you here you go so click on the table partition table click on details and what you would find is that the table is partitioned one default is the partition expiration is 60 days that means it's going to be a rolling window however the table expiration is not enabled so we will look at how to enable that in this video but for now there is not going to be a partition table expiration at all so we will go ahead and run this so after running a query let's see what is happening so i'm going to use this table name instead of this and remove this now if i say i want a date equals to this you see it's it's not going to be processing much data at all let's let's put it 6 it's just going to process 3 mb but what is the total size of the table 102 mbs in the previous video i just showed you that when you ran the query against the iowa sales data set the entire table the 5 gigabits of bytes of data was processing however in this you because you have a time partition table it's not going to process the entire table size it just going to process the 3 mb which is going to be fast let's look at it boom of course very less data set if i just use this condition let's see 62 mb even then it's not processing the entire table and that is the use of partitioning to make the queries faster which goes against the partition data it's not goes against the entire table and that is the use now let's look at the data set for a table expiration option now let's change the partition expiration option to 30 days to do that on the same statement which we had for creating a partition by date table i'm going to add 
this statement. Look at the options, which is in braces, the round braces, wherein you have two properties, partition tab, expiration days, 30 days, and description is BDCS, partition by day. And I'm gonna run this. Running this, it's gonna override the table, and now the partition expiration days would be 30 days instead of by default, the 60 days option. Look at the details. You have par partition expiration, now changed to 30 days. Now for the table expiration, that means after how many days you automatically wanna get rid of this table. I'm gonna click on this edit and specify a date. So on this date, let's say July, let's say September 30th, I want this table to be gone. There you go. Now the table expiration date, date is set. And then description, remember the description which I added over here? Partition by D. So again, this query, or the set of queries which I ran on this in this video is available on the link mentioned in the description section of the video. Hands on for you. You wanna use this, these queries and run it against their data set, which I just showed you, very similar fashion. All you would need to do is change your project. Point to note here is there are many people pinging me finding that there are errors and stuff. Just make sure that you have the project selected. Thank you for watching.